lost and found and who's excited for a live stream today this is my second time ever to be live on YouTube we do a lot of live videos over on my Facebook page and I really like live videos um, but I haven't done a bunch of them on YouTube so let's lower ah! there we go we're gonna lower this just a little bit um, yeah so I thought why not let's try something else Let's do something fun. Um, it is a dreary, rainy, gross day. Let's try something else. Let's do something fun. Yeah, um, it is a dreary, rainy, gross day. Let's try something else. Oh, I'm echoing. I don't know why I'm echoing. Okay, hold on. Let me turn this off because I'm I don't know why I'm echoing. Echoing, and I can hear myself, and I'm not really sure. Okay, sorry. <laughs> technical problems. I was echoing in the background. I could hear myself and I was, that wasn't going to work. That's really distracting. So anyway, um, like I said, this is my second live stream. I've done a ton on Facebook, not a lot here. So I'm trying to, um, trying to start doing that. Want to be able to connect with you guys more. One of the things I really like about lives is that I can kind of chat with you guys back and forth. I'm hoping the chat pops up for me to see. Um, I did have it open on my computer, so I can, yeah, there's one. Okay, good, I can see it. Hi, Pamela. All right, so yeah, I can see you guys when you're chatting. That's super fun, and I can respond. Um, let me know where you're watching from today and what it's like for you guys today. Again, here it's gross. The weather's gross, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't like, oh, Florida, I want to be where you are. <laughs> I don't like the winter. Like, I just kind of try to survive and get through it. I don't love the winter. So, I was really looking forward to this today because it gave me something fun and exciting to come do with you guys. Um, so, uh, you may see my husband here. He's home, a little north of Tulsa. Okay, awesome. Hi, Rachel. My husband may wander in here in a little bit. I got some coffee brewing, so you may hear the, the beep of the coffee pot go off in a little bit. Um, should be done before kids get home on Wednesdays to get out of school early, but you know, it's live. You never know. And another reason why we're doing this live today is because I was out doing the picking and the thrifting and um, trying to get some footage of shopping and my phone just flat out died on me. So I got like two minutes of footage and that was it. And I thought, well, heck, if the bulk of it, like I don't really have any shopping footage to edit into this video. And so if the bulk of the video is just gonna be the haul, then let's just do it live and um, give that a try. So. That's what we're gonna do today. Um, thanks, Valerie. I do too. I think they're a lot of fun. So if you're new here, if you haven't joined me before, again, my name is Melanie. I am the owner of Lost and Found. Um, I've been in business for about 10 years now. And one of the big things that I do is I buy and sell cool old stuff. So mostly when I am out thrifting, I'm looking for things that I can resell in my online store, in my antique booth. And then sometimes I keep stuff for myself too. And you guys seem to like to come along and see what we find. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have been out to um, a couple local flea markets. Um, I went to an estate sale and um, threw in a true thrift store here or there. And then I grabbed one or two things from my antique mall where I have a booth. And um, so we've got kind of a mishmash of stuff. But when I say thrifting, I kind of mean, kind of encompass all of those things. So we're out, we're hunting and we're digging around and looking for cool old things, uh, diamonds in the rough, and hopefully stuff that I can make a little bit of money on that I can sell for a profit. So people have asked me before, why do I tell people what I buy stuff for if I'm selling it? Well, that's because a lot of you guys that watch these videos are resellers yourself. And you've said that you enjoy hearing what stuff's going for, that's helpful. So I like being helpful. So um, yeah, all right, who's ready? Who's ready, let's get going. I've got some fun things to share with you today. Um, okay, I'm gonna start off with my favorite thing. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna dive right in to the thing that I love the most. And I already showed this on um, one of my community posts, so you may have seen it, but it's amazing enough that I wanna show it to you again here. Take a look at this paper house or building model. Hi, Heidi. Is this not the most beautiful thing you've seen? Look, and it's it goes all the way around. So this is made, it's paper. And um, someone, like I when I bought it, I just was like, holy cow, that's, like I love anything in miniature. It was at the antique mall where I have my booth. It wasn't, another vendor had it. And I think it was like 14 bucks. 
So I grabbed it, it's staying with me, and it is gonna go in my master bedroom. But I love anything in miniature. Um, and I did a little bit of research, and so these are, this is like kits that were available in the 1960s and 70s, and I don't know if everything popped out and then you glued it together. I don't know exactly the process of building them. You can still kind of, on eBay, you can buy this kit. Um, and then I posted about it in the community, one of my community posts, and you guys helped me figure out. This is the Cabildo build, um, building. I may not be, a, it, I'm sorry, it's in New Orleans. If I just butchered that and mispronounced it wrong, please correct me, the Cabildo. Um, it is now a museum, it's in New Orleans. It's not yellow in real life, but that's what it is. So, but just look at the detail on it. Like the detail on it is incredible. All the way around to the little back porch. Isn't that so cute? I love it. So 14 bucks, such a unique accent. This is gonna go on my dresser in my master bedroom. I've been working on my master bedroom. I've got more stuff to show you in my master bedroom. Hopefully in a couple weeks, um, more with that. But here's piece number one, my favorite of everything, honestly. Super, super excited about that. Okay, um, the grand millennial trend right now, uh, chinois three, blue and white, oriental, you know, that um, some people call it granny chic. Like that's having a moment right now. And I'm kind of digging it. I don't love all of it, but but it's really growing on me. And so um, I grabbed this pair of vintage brass curtain tiebacks. So they're curtain tiebacks like this. And let's see, they were, what did I pay for these guys? I paid two bucks for them. So um, they're, I need, sorry, I didn't cut them apart, but you can, they go like this and they, you know, hold your curtains back. And this one goes here on the other side and hold your curtains back. Not necessarily my personal style, but really, really fits in that whole grand millennial um, style right now. And so for two bucks, I thought these were a great thing to grab. Um, I'm gonna take them up to my booth and I don't think I'll have any trouble in passing them along to somebody else. Okay, um, and kind of along with that, in that whole style right now, um, it's all of the oriental, uh, porcelain, the Asian porcelain, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know a ton about that stuff. I'm trying to learn and educate myself. It's kind of a new genre of things for me to learn about. Um, but it, like I said, it's having a moment. <laughs> it's doing very well. There are people that are selling those painted porcelain oriental items, you know, the ginger jars, um, the urns, the plates, and they're selling just that, and they're doing very, very well. And so this is not a true, um, you know, porcelain piece, but it's got that look to it. And it was five bucks at the flea market. So um, it does have a marking there at the bottom. Again, for five bucks, it's kind of got that look. It's got those colors, you know, it, it's not super old. I'm not gonna claim that it's super old, but um, anytime that, you know, I see a trend kind of coming. I try to find some of those things to throw into my inventory. Um, like when brass started peaking last year, like I just couldn't keep brass in stock. So this was five bucks. I thought it was, you know, an easy find. And then just to get an idea. So like I sell these guys in my online store, they're these little half spheres and you can kind of see, look, it's, a, I mean, that's really cute, right? Just to kind of have on a shelf or on a dresser top. That's really cute. Um, or the bowl is shallow enough that it could be in an entryway and it could be for your keys, uh, your wallet or something like that. And if somebody's trying to get that look, um, this would be an affordable piece for them while they're kind of curating that look. All right. Um, another thing that kind of fits in that, this bowl that I found. So this was at the flea market. Um, and it was $3, and it's kind of iridescent. I don't know if you can see that. It is marked Made in Japan um, and hand-painted, and it's got this pretty scallop, so it's kind of this shallow bowl, um, but it, this kind of peachy orange color. You know, some of those, those orange and yellows and pinks and those warm colors are some of those colors that are in that design trend. So for three bucks, like I thought this was a great price. <laughs> Hi Vivian. And 
you know, this, this little guy doesn't fit exactly in there, but that, look, that can give you an idea. Or really what, what I see in it is probably, since it's shallow, um, getting some faux hydrangeas. Imagine some big, pretty, like white or green hydrangeas, or even some blue ones, and in here, and how pretty this would be for a display piece. So, um, yeah, thanks. Yeah, three bucks, right? Great, so this one I might keep because um, I introduced a little bit of orange into my master bedroom, which is kind of crazy. It's not really the color I was thinking, but this I might keep for a piece on my dresser. I'm not sure. All right, um, moving along, this cigar box I grabbed $3 at the flea market. I don't know a ton about cigar boxes, um, I know some of them are particularly collectible. I had one in my online store um, and it sold very quickly. So what attracted me to this one is it still has a lot of the stickers left on it. And it's got those kind of fun colors. And it looks pretty with, well shoot, I meant to bring some in here. Um, this is just a pretty little print right here. I meant to bring, maybe I'll have to go grab them. Anyway, I've got some, some faux lamb's ear kind of stuck. And that's how I staged the last one for a picture. And it was really pretty. Uh, and it sold super quick. So this was $3, like I said, and nice little flame from the flame market. Okay, moving along. Let's do a little bit of glassware. Uh, this just little shallow vegetable bowl. I paid, uh, where is it, three sixty dollars for it. Um, I like the kind of geometric pattern. Sorry, Sally, if it is buffering. We're having some bad weather here today. Sometimes that screws with my internet. So I apologize if that's going on. Everything looks good here on our end. But anyway, I'd like the kind of geometric pattern of it. I had um, a thumbprint glass bowl that I had, you know, that I found super cheap and um, I sold it for, I think, 14 or $15. So 350 for this one, not bad. Uh, no chips on it, it was in nice shape. So I'm still selling clear glass. I know some people aren't and some people are like, man, I can't give clear glass away, but I've got a couple local customers that just still really like it. This is a, a nice bowl, nice, heavy, sturdy bowl. So more clear glass. So this was a flea market find, um, a tilted pitcher. One of these that, you know, it sits kind of at an angle. Isn't that fun? Five bucks for this at uh, the flea market. Good shape, couldn't find any chips in it. So $5 was really reasonable price for this one. And another one. This one came from the thrift store and this one was $3.99. Uh, I think I've sold every, yes, I've sold every glass pitcher, vintage glass pitcher that I've bought in the last six months. They just sell like that for me. Um, so as long as they don't have chips in them, they're doing really well. This one's really heavy. So these two, five bucks, four bucks. Um, I was happy with those, <laughs> with those prices. I thought those were great. All right. Um, let's do some cobalt. I found a little bit of cobalt. Who loves some cobalt blue glass? It's another thing that I have a hard time finding. Okay, Jen says that the glass pitchers do good for her too. Awesome. Yeah. I think that there's still a market for them. I, I, they were kind of a big thing last year. I still think there's some people that, that this summer spring and summer when we get back into patio season that are gonna be looking for them. I, I think the trend will probably make it through this year also. But we've got these two pretty little cobalt blue pieces. Um, this is just a, a, a plain, it's probably just a florist quality vase, uh, but it was a dollar. And you know, it doesn't matter that it was mass market. I sell things a lot of times for decorative value and so you got somebody looking for a nice little cobalt blue small vase, um, they'll be happy to, it's, I can easily sell it for significantly more than a dollar. <laughs> what, I, 
what I paid for it. I know that um, I bought some old vintage green florist vases in the past and I had um, someone comment that they were just worthless. But like, you know, again, it's how you're presenting it to customers. To some people, like to a glass collector, then maybe it's worthless. For someone that's trying to curate a really cool collected vintage look in their kitchen and they want a cabinet full of green vases, then it's not worthless. Um, and they're happy to pay a nice little price for them. So I tend to sell more for decorative value than just pure collectible value. Um, so that's kind of where this vase falls in. And then this is a sweet little picture. I think I paid four for this one. But um, look at that. I like the pattern on it. Isn't that fun? And the little curly cue right here. And just a cute little size. Great little small creamer milk pitcher for four bucks. Um, so I don't think I'll have any trouble with either of these two pieces heading off somewhere. Okay, um, I wanna show you guys this. This I actually bought, um, <laughs> hi Lori. Um, yeah, hey Lori, send me an email, um, Melanie at lostandfounddecor.com. And um, you can also see that on, on the about section, like on my YouTube page, my email is there. Shoot me an email there, and I'm happy to send you my mailing address. And that's so sweet of you, thank you. I would love to have a <laughs> last supper. In fact, I actually have one to share with you guys that somebody sent me, so. Um, okay, this I bought, uh, my husband and I were in Eureka Springs for a weekend, and we went out, did a little shopping. And I paid more for it than what I would like if I was trying to sell it. I think I paid like 20, 25 bucks for it, which is significantly more than I would pay if I was trying to flip it. But this I bought just for me. Um, Maxwell House coffee tin. I really liked the colors on it. I've been working on, we redid our kitchen this summer and I've been working on kind of finishing out some of my countertop decor and I've decided I want a collection of some vintage tins and I already have a few, but I needed something with kind of these colors to go over by my coffee pot. So when I saw this, I was like, perfect. It's the right colors and it's coffee. <laughs> so it looked really cute over by my coffee pot. Um, so I treated myself to it, but isn't it pretty? Just that teal and that kind of vintage red I love it. I love it. I was really excited when I found it. All right, let's sit you down over here. Put you over here. Okay, so a flea market that I was at when I was doing some, some of this digging around last week, a ton of vendors had their booths there. 50% um, off, 60% off. Thanks, Diane. Even 75% off. Like a ton. Which, as a dealer myself, it makes me sad because that tells me that they're probably not doing well. And I hate that. I hate when I go into a mall and I see a ton of people with their stud boots all marked down. That means they're probably liquidating and they're getting out. Um, so I was kind of bummed to see that. But then as a buyer, I was kind of like, yay. Because <laughs> that meant I could, get, I could get some deals on stuff. So, um, so I did. I, I bought several things. So one of the things that I grabbed, and these were both half off. There are two yellow McCoy planters, okay? Um, this was the first one I grabbed. It does say McCoy on the bottom. Now this one is not perfect. Uh, it's not in perfect condition. It's got this little spot right here, which I don't know exactly. It's like it chipped and it's got black. I don't know if it got, what. I don't know exactly what that is. It's the same thing right here. Just a little spot, so not in perfect condition. But still, um, there's no major cracks or anything with it. It could definitely still hold water. And again, look at how cute it is with this little guy on top of it. Isn't that cute? Especially if you had like a bunch of them, a bunch of planters displayed all together. I don't collect McCoy. Maybe I'll start, because I have these two. So anyway, this one here was marked down to 750 which I thought was really fair. Um, still a little bit of money left on it. And then this one was $4. It was marked down to four. 
So it also says McCoy on the bottom. And this one has this little blemish right here. So neither of them are pristine. Um, other than, and I, this is more kind of like a little manufacturer defect, I think, right there. Um, neither of them are pristine, but I don't deal a lot in stuff that's in pristine condition. <laughs> Most of that stuff I can't afford. So I'm okay with the odd little ding here or there. The people that I sell to, that kind of stuff's all right with them. But I loved that I found two of them. Um, and again, these were in people's booths that they had stuff half off. So I would love to find a couple more and put them in my booth all together at the same time and have kind of a whole collection and arrangement of them. I think that would, would really make um, for a great display. Gosh, and they're really heavy too. Okay, another thing that I found, yes. Another thing that I found in one of those discount half off booths is um, this pretty chocolate pot, okay? And you see it, it's got kind of the pretty violets and the gold here on the bottom. There's the mark on it. This guy, what did I pay for this? Uh, four bucks for the chocolate pot. Isn't it pretty, Pam? <laughs> it is beautiful. Um, it's got, it's got a surface crack right here. Um, and then it's got this big drip right here, which I kind of picked at it. And it's, it's not a stain like I'm gonna be able to get it off. It's just something that kind of dripped on it and dried. It's not paint. So maybe that's why it was marked down because the, the owner, well, it does have a little chip right there, but for four bucks, I mean, just a pretty little piece. Um, and again, it, it kind of fits into that grand millennial style a little bit. The things that are a little more ornate, a little more flashy, they've got some color, some gold. Um, I've had a couple chocolate pots before and they've sold quickly for me. So this one was a $4 discount booth find. Um, okay, I also grabbed this pair of brass, heavy brass duck bookends. Um, brass was the thing last year, the thing. And so the prices on it have gone up really high. It's hard to find anybody that's got decent prices on it. So these were 10 bucks. Two or three years ago, these would have been like $2, right? <laughs> it was like everybody got excited about brass. So, but they are um, Korean heavy. Now, maybe one of you guys can help me. Here's, here's something that I'm trying to figure out. This guy right here, look, look at, look at that. So again, there's some stuff on here that I need to kind of polish off, but look at how there's just right down the middle, the line, he changes color. I can't figure out what's going on with that. The only thing I think is, is, and it's a little blurrier here on the back. It's most defined on his head and down the front is maybe how it was sitting on a shelf for a long time and like exposed to the light and that caused this side to darken up some, I don't know. Um, I would love if somebody has some insight to why he's just like right down the middle. <laughs> and, this, and this one's the same. But they are, I mean, they are nice, heavy, solid brass pieces. So um, I'm gonna play around with them some and see if I can polish up this side that's a little bit darker. He's not quite as noticeable. Can you guys see right there, the line? of how he's darker on one side than the other. I think it has to be something. Um, I think it has to be something about how it was sitting and maybe sunlight and something that that did to the metal. Um, okay, you were asking about the tin, the Maxwell House tin. Is that what you wanted to see? This is a Maxwell House tin. So it says, um, uh, C-H-E-I-N-C-O, uh, Chen Company, C-H-E-I-N. Can you see that? Uh, Burlington, New Jersey is for this. I think that's what you're asking about, okay? Yeah, so a mystery on the brass duck bookends, but, um, 10 bucks for the pair. These I may also keep in, uh, for my bedroom. Look at how cute they are, like just, 
here's a couple old books that I have and boop, you know, they just go right up and they're even, like it's even cute put together with some of these. You're welcome, Sally. Wouldn't that make just a, a pretty little vignette all together? So I love them. I haven't been able to find a, a reasonably priced pair of those in about six months because everybody's been asking so much. So, okay, another discount find and a booth that had a big sale was this just cute, cute little mirror. Now it's not old um, and it's like a framed mirror and I think they've painted it, but it was $5. And this will be just a great little piece to put up in my booth something different. It's got a little bit of height. Um, whoever worked on it and painted it, they did a good job, but they've kind of got some gold detailing. I may add, I've got some gold um, gilding wax and I may kind of gild it up just a little bit more before I drop it in my booth, but it was five bucks. <laughs> it was great. It was a great, great price, a pretty little mirror, and it'll make a, a nice, go into a nice display in my booth. All right, what else do I have? Oh, okay, so this was a booth that was 75% off. Everything in their booth was 75% off, and I kind of hated to like walk away from it because I felt like for sure there was something I was gonna miss. Like there was more there, but the store was closing, and my phone had died, and my husband didn't know where I was, and I was like, I gotta get home. So I only wound up getting one thing, but I may go back, because 75% off, y'all, that's just kind of crazy. But this is what I got. Okay, Ooh, and it's heavy. I grabbed this <laughs> big um, brass eagle. He's heavy, and he's kind of dirty. Like, he needs to be cleaned up. He's a little, needs to be cleaned up, polished just a little bit. Um, but it, it was 15 bucks is what I paid for it. The original price on it was 60. So, um, these big pieces like that, like this, you know, in my antique mall are easily close to $100. I don't think I'd wanna try and ship him because he's heavy. Yeah, I know, isn't that crazy for 15 bucks? So, um, you know, somebody who's doing that mid-century style, this is gonna be right up their alley. Tina, uh, thanks for joining in. My booth is located at, gosh, this thing's heavy, um, the Somewhere in Time Antique Mall in Rogers, Arkansas. And then I sell online too. So yeah, most of what's here is gonna wind up either in my online shop or up there. This guy is for sure gonna go local because I don't wanna have to ship him. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I haven't found a, a piece this size for 15 bucks. I just, I felt like that was a steal. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, I gotta sit it down because it's heavy. All right, let me see what else I've got here. I've got a few other things. Okay, this is something that I actually got out of the trash. <laughs> so there was um, a pile of trash on someone's curb and I stopped and dug through it because I am not above that. Give me a shout out if you're not above digging through a pile of trash on the curb. Um, and I grabbed this. And I thought just for Valentine's Day coming up, like how sweet would that? Now, and then when I got home and looked at it closer, now check it out. Thanks, Pamela. I think this is a 50th anniversary. Like I assumed at first it was just a wedding cake topper, but then I got home and I looked at these folks and they both got some gray hair. Look at them. See, they're old, right? They're us old folks. <laughs> she, these aren't some 20 somethings getting married. These are, and then she's wearing this gold. So I think this was a 50th wedding anniversary topper. Um, yeah, isn't that sweet? Kind of sad that it was in somebody's trash, but that's okay, we'll help. We'll help deliver it to somebody else who will think it's sweet. But for Valentine's Day, what a cute little thing to have. And uh, and it was free, it was in the trash. So yeah, don't you love a good trash find? My favorite trash find ever. Well, congratulations, Sally. That's amazing, congratulations to you. That is an achievement. Um, we're at 18 right now, so I've got a ways to go, but um, my in-laws were married, I think for 56 or 57 years. Um, and they had been together since they were in sixth grade, which I just think is crazy. But anyway, I think this is really sweet. Um, 
Some, one of you guys commented something and I lost my train of thought. Sorry, I'm kind of bloop, a little, a little loopy like that. <laughs> but anyway, digging in the trash, you just never know. Oh, my best trash find ever. My best trash find ever was um, somebody gave away, you guys know one of those collapsible metal uh, laundry hampers. So it, it's like on, you know, has four wheels or four legs on casters and then it kind of comes comes up, um, they're, they're making them reproduction now like crazy. And um, it was, that's what it was, and it kind of collapses down. Somebody had it all folded and collapsed down in their front yard. So I grabbed that. Sally, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm, I'm sure that that's been a, a challenge for you. I know that's been a challenge for my mother-in-law. My father-in-law has been gone um, for five years and she misses him dearly, so I, I, I haven't lived through that myself, but I've watched someone live through that, and um, to to lose someone that you've spent that much time with, I know is is really really challenging to work through. So I'm glad you're here with us today, and thanks for telling us about your amazing marriage that you had. Thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, a um, couple more things. Let me see what. All right, these okay, these I grabbed at the flea market. Um, they were $5 each. And so they are um, from the Lincoln, Lincoln Beautywear. That's what they are. And it's the flower canister with the lid and the sugar canister. See that? Five bucks a piece. Now, full sets of these guys are going for, you know, 50, 60 bucks on Etsy. Obviously this isn't a full set, but, um, and they're not in pristine condition. I don't think that's rust. I think that's gunk on the top of that one. I just need to clean it off. Um, you know, they're, the paint's a little bit chipped on them, but for somebody who's kind of putting together that vibe in their kitchen, um, five bucks a piece, I, I thought that was a, a very fair price on these. Definitely still some room to make a little bit of money on those guys. And then this, oh gosh, hold on, bear with me. <laughs> yes, hi Marnie. Yay, our first one. Stopped in an estate sale, like literally the last hour that it was open, and it was really picked over, but they did have in the garage, which always go into the garages of estate sales. Always go in the garages, because that's where you're gonna find some really cool stuff. Um, thank you, Tina, for sharing that. I love how much love and care you guys have for each other. That's just awesome to be able to share that. Thank you. Okay, so this was in the garage at the estate sale. This great old big red, and it's still grimy on the bottom. I haven't cleaned it off. Um, tool toolbox, and it was two dollars and fifty cents, is what I paid for it. So um, these kind of things, ta da! Right. So somebody could, of course, use it as a toolbox if they want. Um, I love having a lot of red, white, and blue stuff in my booth for July Fourth. Um, for any time for the summer, I do well with red stuff. People use stuff like this in displays. Also, pop this thing open, you know, drill a couple holes in the base, and it's a really, really cool garden planter if you're kind of a vintage junk person. So, $250 was an awesome price. Yeah, isn't that great? Like, $250 for this, and it's, it's big. I mean, you can see the size of it. So, um, and now it's left rust on <laughs> the bottom of my hand. Um, sadly, it was the only thing left. Um, only thing that I, that really got my attention at that estate sale. But, you know, if you don't stop it in looks, then you never know, right? So, yes. Okay, just a few more things. Um, a couple lamps that I grabbed uh, from the thrift store. This one was six. And um, I don't... I initially bought it for my kitchen because I need a little small lamp. Um, <laughs> that's funny, Sally. <laughs> I need a little small lamp to go in the corner of my kitchen. Thank you, Vicki. I just, today was hair day. I just washed it. I washed my hair for you guys. So that's why it looks nice because I fixed it <laughs> today. Um, I'm not in love with the motif of it. Um, so I'm, if I keep it for myself, then I'm probably gonna try and paint it and maybe have it look kind of like a faux concrete. 
Um, I can do that. I've got some gray paint. You mix a little bit of stuff in it with a little bit of white wax. Find a fun little shade. I need, just need something to go kind of in the corner under my cabinets to get, I like light in the evening and just a little bit of soft light. Um, I may not do that and I may just stick it in my booth. I'm not really sure because again, this kind of has that grand millennial style to it. So somebody could, somebody may really want it just like it is. Um, but that was initially why I got it. And I need to test it out too. I gotta make sure it works, but it was six bucks. And then I also got this lamp at the thrift store. Not old, this one was four, I think, five, five bucks. Um, it's not wood, but I thought some white wax on this to highlight all of this and just to give it kind of that washed look would make it really cute. And I need a lamp for my husband's little chest in his bedroom. So that's my plan for this. Five bucks, y'all, lamps are expensive. Um, and lamp shades are expensive. So a $5 lamp that I can kind of play around with, um, just all this, all this kind of detail is what got it to me. And because it's all one color, it's getting lost. You're not even really seeing it. So there's a, you know, you could also take a little bit of gilding wax and do it on around and it would highlight all this, but something needs to be done to kind of highlight the cool pattern on this or else it just looks kind of like a dumpy brown lamp, you know? Um, so that, that I was excited to find. All right, guys, I think that's it. Um, is that it? I think it is. I do want to give a quick shout out um, to Max and Marvin from, and I'm going to butcher this, but Snohomish, is that it? Snohomish Trading Company. Uh, they took my booth seller boot camp. They live in Washington State. And right before Christmas, I got something in the mail and it was this beautiful little box and I opened it up and there was this adorable little glass Last Supper in it. If you're new and you don't know, I collect vintage Last Suppers. And so Max and Marvin that run this business, Snohomish Trading Company, um, they sent me this as just a, in a sweet little note about um, just they just enjoy the boot camp and they enjoyed being a part of that community. And I love it. And I at first I was like, is it an ashtray? <laughs> which seems a little weird for a Last Supper picture. I don't think it's deep enough to be an old ashtray. I think it was just a little stand um, picture. So I'm gonna get a, a little stand for it and I'm gonna put it on my desk. I just love it so much. And I thought that was so sweet that they took the time to send that to me. And so I wanted to uh, give them a shout out. If you wanna go check them out, again, they're Snohomish Trading Company. Um, and they have a website too, Max and Marvin. So. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it from what I, yeah, cheese or butter. Oh, you're right, I could. It's a tiny bit small for butter. I'd have to, I'd have to cut, it wouldn't fit a full stick. I'd have to cut a little bit off, but it could definitely, be, definitely work for that too. So I had fun doing this live. I hope, uh, yeah, we're not that bad. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I, plan on doing more lives. They're fun. I, I like being able to chat with you guys as, as we go along um, and just sharing with you what I'm kind of out picking around. I'd love to hear what you saw that you liked, that you thought was cool. Um, if you're interested in anything, just shout out, let me know. Um, Pamela, so my Booth Seller Bootcamp course is actually closed. Like I, I closed that down in September of last year. So it's not currently offered anymore. But you can go to my website, which is lostandfounddecor.com. So lostandfounddecor.com. Um, that website actually has been recently um, redone and relaunched. And so I'm really proud of it because uh, there's lots of stuff on there that is free. Lots of articles, uh, furniture makeovers, vintage decor stuff you know, business articles. It's like an eight year old blog that I've been working on for a long time. So you can go there and, and piddle around. Um, there's lots of business articles there that might have some helpful stuff in there um, for you too. And it's just, it was so clunky and old and slow and it's just not clunky and old and slow anymore. <laughs> so I'm really, and it looks good and clean. So I'm really proud of it. I'm happy to have that back out in the world. So, um, okay, I think I'm gonna, oh no, no, wait, sorry. There was one more thing. Oh, real quick. See, I forgot something. 
Okay, these I also grabbed. Aren't they cute? Um, they were, so I paid 10 for them, and I, 10's a little much, but I'm keeping them for myself. So someone just painted these sweet little pictures. They're gonna go in my bedroom. I love pairs of art. I love it when you can find, um, find art together. Absolutely, Tina, you can reach out and you can email. If there's something that you saw that you're interested in, sure, shoot me an email. Um, so, and it looks like, it's like the back of it is like, a, it's like tile. <laughs> it almost looks like somebody painted it on a piece, look, that's like a piece of tile or something. I don't know what it is. I don't know, somebody did some sweet little art. These were 10 bucks. They're gonna go in my master bedroom because I've got a little bit of yellow that I'm pulling in. So, um, yeah, yeah, you're welcome, Rachel. Thank you. And thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with me today. It helped me get through this rainy afternoon. And um, if you're not a subscriber, please join us and subscribe. Always appreciate that. Share this video with your friends. Y'all are amazing. I'm gonna sign off, go drink my cup of coffee before my kiddos get home early from school. But everybody that took time out of their day to spend time with me, I really, really appreciate you. I just, that's, that's an honor to have y'all be around. So, okay, I'll see you again soon. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.